What is up, everybody? Welcome to Easy Street Gaming. My name is Easy. Today we have the first look at the Executor, and I, I've got a picture of him here showing some of his finer features. You've got to be able to read real fast to get through all this, though. So we have, I've got about six or seven replays. They are all from green. But let's look at all their skills first, and, and whoa, that went by pretty fast. Um, <laughs> The first one was lunge. You probably couldn't read that, but um, first one lunge. All three, all three have the same first skill lunge. Uh, Red second skill is called killing time. You know, you'll see that they have some very unique abilities. That their their skills are are there's not many that um, that match each other like other other partners that all three colors have two of the three that are matched. And red went by that fast. Blue it blues. We're thinking blue is probably going to be the strongest. We're, we're thinking, uh, at least at first, but we're not really sure because you'll see in the replays that green is, is pretty tough. Um, blue's third skill is called the Killing Mark, and this is going to be a big skill for him, a big attack. Uh, basically, the way this works is that he gets a mark for every single partner on the in, in the match, whether it's on his team or the other team. He, he gets a mark if anyone has 50% less hit points than he has and for each mark he gets an increase of 10 speed 50 attack and 5% critical rate damage so you just think about that times however many people let's say he's the strongest one everyone has 50% less that's seven times sevens so that's a huge huge bump in, in an ability second skill second attack is heart ripper and that's where he'll get he'll ignore defense part defense and he'll get another big benefit which I can't read because it went to buy too fast so you might have to pause the video or on to green we're gonna show you green in this video green is the one we well, we have spit it out easy <laughs> we have uh, several attacks from from green first ability is lunge green also has a very unique skill so it's debatable who is going to be the best in the long run whether it be blue green red it might be green second skill heart ripper just like the just like uh, blue had the heart ripper and his third skill is the assassin's original art so this is you'll randomly attack whichever enemy has the most buffs you'll remove every buff from the enemy and then do a great amount of damage depending on how many buffs they have you'll you'll also if there's three or more buffs on him, you'll also do splash damage. And I believe he got a shield too. Uh, we're going to have to look later on in the video to see exactly what happened. So another potentially huge attack. All these partners are restrained partners. Two of them have the attack leader skill. One of them has the critical rate leader skill. This is all from... He calls himself King Cerberus. Formerly from server 323 now he is the leader and the new server which I believe was server 438 so first look at the the executor maybe the first time ever on YouTube let's see if we can actually see any of his abilities in the in these few replays that we have I, I know we have, there's one that we can we can find because I've already found it so remember his big ability is his third skill and his third skill if the enemies have buffs he will remove the buff and then do great damage depending on how many buffs they have so that will be when he attacks twice when I talked to Cerberus the one who gave me all the replays he said that he has found out how to how to dress the, the executor at least green and that was with attack left hand attack head and then hit hit on the right hand and uh after watching the replays i, I think he did a pretty good job with it playing against some tough tough uh opponents
this uh, four four thirty eight, I believe it was, is a is a fairly new server, but he's already at stronghold twenty four. So advanced pretty quick, and you can see he's got some pretty tough en enemies already. Although I don't th I don't think the third awakened yet on either side really. And the team that he's that is he's constructed. It's got the blue guard earth. Blue Nomad, Red Jello, and then the Green Executor. Pretty cool team. So that that means that they'll be immune first round due to the Red Jello. And then you have the Freeze of uh, the God of Earth. And Blue Nomad's is power powerhouse hitter, and then now the Executor. That steals buffs. So this is a unique, interesting team. Now looking at all the skills for the three executors, it looks like they spent a lot of time on this partner. There's not a lot of repetition between the three different colors. The third skills are all very unique. So we we may be able to see something a little different where all three colors may actually be useful. Uh, the last partner we got out I believe was Sharky and uh, Honestly Sharky even though there was some repetition between them There's a lot of debate about it still also, but this it seems like all three colors of them are, sharp, are going to be useful So hopefully all three executors will be useful. It's hard to get one never mind the right one <laughs> Let's do a little rewind. We just saw a, a great Display of his of his skill right there Executor just attacked the the red drum stole all five of his buffs stole the shield So he doesn't just take away their buffs. He steals them and he has them himself So that's a that's a pretty strong ability And then if he has three or if they have three or more not only does he steal them But he also does a great amount of damage and then does splash damage on top of that Which means that he will be affecting all of the partners around whatever target he's attacking so I'll, I mean, that's don't know exactly how that will play out at the higher ends, but uh, when we're talking about massive partners with 30, 40,000 hit points, I'd like to see what massive damage is to that. <laughs> so it looks like he's on defense on this on this battle here. Same partners, but just a little shifted around because he's on defense. And what I would suggest to do with the executor like, like pretty much all your partners is is try to understand exactly what role he's going to play in your team If you have him in the right role, he'll be a lot more effective You don't want to have a defensive partner as your lead attacker and then have three more defensive partners behind him uh, So tr make sure you understand the role that your partner is going to play and as far as the executor goes I believe it's a support partner not just a straight attack partner because as, as far as green goes he is stealing stealing buffs and He's not exactly just taking on the the top guy And leveling him with these giant attacks. He's kind of finessing his way through it uh, now with the other colors Also, you have to consider your your war patterns as well So consider what role they're gonna play and then consider the war patterns that will kind of help you Figure out what kind of team you want to build if the execution is w worth building a team around and Believe it or not some of your off partners are the ones you build your teams around. I don't know if the ex if the executor I, You know, I could have been saying this wrong the whole time the executor is gonna be one of those or not um, But looking at the skills of all three I think red will probably be the easiest It looks like that red has the ability uh, on one of his attacks. He attacks six times as soon as I see an attack with times six on it, the first thing I think of is Ian, because Ian will steal life or add health to you every time he attacks. So with six hits in one attack, that's that's a bunch of, of health you can get back on that. So um, uh, now as far as green and blue, it's looking like attack and and hit are both going to be really important. So that means. Uh, and this is all possibly because I don't have them yet, and I have seen very limited um, gameplay with with the executor. But it, I would think that Smilodon and Corsac would probably be uh, a good place to start, and then work your way from there. And let's hold that thought for one second. We just had the executor 
attack the Dragon Man. He what he did is he steal stole all the buffs. Then he attacks again, dealing great damage. Then he dealt splash damage to everyone on the team. And in stealing those buffs, he also stole the shield that uh, Dragon Man had on him. So tons of benefits. Just to, just really that that one uh, skill he has is an incredible skill. I haven't seen anything like it before. Doesn't doesn't have a very good chin. It <laughs> looks like he takes a little bit of damage there. So getting back to the the war patterns, I'll just give you my general philosophy on this war on the war patterns, especially with these elite five star partners. As you move on in the game, you, you you're gonna get a lot of war patterns that are five star. And it will, this little interruption, King Cerberus takes a loss for us trying to record uh, another another battle. So thank you for that. Tough match. And I'm gonna go in times two in this last one, speed it up a little bit because we're getting long. Uh, yeah, so. When you're getting into these elite five star partners, get rid of all your your gray five star war patterns and use the war patterns that have two or three two or three skills at level zero. That way you'll maximize the output once you get to level fifteen. Then your second skill, if it started off at five percent um, attack for your second skill, it'll be it'll be at uh, ten or fifteen percent instead of just at five percent. By using these uh, war patterns that have two or three skills on them to begin with, you'll double and sometimes even triple up the second and third skill, and that adds up to a lot at the end. So when you're using these elite partners, use the elite war patterns with it. Be patient with it. Uh, if it takes you two or three weeks to get the war patterns up, uh, to even get the right uh, skills on the right areas, do that because you're going to have it for a long time. Um, no need in rushing through it and getting and using weak war patterns on a very very uh, Potentially very good partner. So I want to thank King Cerberus Formerly Thunder from 323 for all the replays. Hope you guys enjoyed your first look at the Executioner <laughs> Or the executor I probably said that wrong like 50 times. Hope you enjoyed the video till next time. It's been easy. Take care everybody